Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salina, Kansas. Uh, last week we talked about the Copilot 360 features and the Copilot 360 2.0 uh, in our Tech Tuesday. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that video, I'll have it linked down in the description, as well as if you hold on to the end of this video, I'll have it in the end scene there where you can click on the video and you can check it out there as well as at the, at the end of this. Uh, but this week we want to carry on. We're going to go part two. We're going to continue talking about the Copilot 360 suite of features. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the Copilot 360 Assist, the Assist Plus, and the Assist 2.0, which are found in several different models uh, in the Ford lineup. Still, we see the Assist package and the, the Plus. They all have some different features. So we're going to cover all those features, plus maybe even something else, in this week's Tech Tuesday with Tim. Now, first, let's talk about the Copilot 360 Assist. So that's actually been out for several years now, uh, and it was uh, in a lot of the vehicles. Now it still can be found in your Expedition XLT and above. Uh, and uh, that's kind of the one that's going to kind of build on us for our other ones because it's going to include all of the other uh, newer upgraded versions of this will include the things that we talk about as part of the Copilot 360 Assist. So the Copilot 360 Assist is what a lot of people like about it is the adaptive cruise control. So adaptive cruise control means if you're driving along and you're coming up behind somebody, you have that cruise set. Uh, and you have it in the adaptive cruise setting, uh, then as you uh, approach someone, it's going to slow you down to go to their speed so you don't rear in them, you don't have to hit your brake. Uh, and then when you pass them, it's going to speed you back up or resume back up. Uh, so that's include, it also includes stop and go. So stop and go means that if you're behind somebody and you get you know, go into that rush hour traffic and where you're almost in a standstill, it will bring you to complete stop. Uh, without you having to press your brake and then when the, the, everybody starts going again then you're going to start going as well uh, so it com com comes with the stop and go also also included in this is your navigation so your voice activated navigation system a lot of times that's the only way you can get navigation on some of these trims and some of these models is with the copilot 360 assist package so they're including the navigation along with your adaptive cruise control and your stop and go now let's talk about the copilot 360 assist plus package now that takes what we've already talked about includes the navigation and we won't talk too much about the navigation too much because it is included in all three of these packages uh, but also includes the adaptive cruise control and includes stop and go but also on top of that now includes lane centering so this is great love the lane centering so a little different than the adaptive cruise control which we talked about last week or i mean your lane keeping system uh, which we talked about last week lane centering actually keeps you in the center of your lane so it's not letting you get to those lines it's going to see and know the distance there and keeps you in the center of your lane while you have your crew set so un unlike the lane keeping system which uh, can be used with or without uh, you know cruise control on uh, this lane centering is only uh, active when you have your crew set as part of that intelligent uh, uh, cruise control there also includes speed sign recognition so speed sign recognition means uh, that if just like it sounds if you have that cruise set and let's say you have a tolerance you like to go five over like I do uh, and you're in a 70 mile an hour zone so that means you'd be going about 75 right if you come across and go into construction zone or you hit uh, a slower zone and let's say that cruise goes down to 60 uh, it is going to slow you down automatically. You don't have to do anything. It's going to slow you down to go 65 in that zone. Uh, so automatically reads that speed signs and slows you down. Uh, so the great system and how that works also includes your evasive steering assist. So if you're coming along and you have that, you know, this car like maybe pulls right in front of you and there's no way you can stop to avoid hitting them uh, and you need to steer around, the evasive steering assist is going to assist in that. So it's going to make it easier to turn uh, so you can more drastically turn away and out of that so uh, and a lot of these are features and uh, everything we've talked about are features you can activate and deactivate so if you don't like the adaptive cruise uh, but you like some of the other features as part of this uh, that is something you can go with the traditional cruise or you can go with the adaptive cruise or what they call the intelligent cruise as part of that assist two point or assist plus package is that's called the intelligent so you have the traditional you have your adaptive cruise and then you have the intelligent cruise control you can also with the, the evasive steering assist is also a feature you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen uh, so and i can show you where that's at and that and that is at in other videos in fact i actually have a video on how to activate and deactivate some of those uh, a full tutorial on these screens here now let's talk about the 2.0 version the newest version oh wait before we go into that uh, what vehicles can you find the assist plus package in uh, it is found in your edge 
It's also found in your Escape. Uh, you can also find it in the Bronco Sport Big Ben, by the way. Bronco Sport Big Ben gets that package as well. Uh, and then uh, the, some of the other trims of the Bronco get this newer version, as well as it's in the Explorer. Explorer was one of the first vehicles that you could find it in. It's, it's available in the XLT Explorer and above, Edge, uh, Escape. You find it on those vehicles. And let's talk about the, uh, and this is for 21 model year I'm talking. Uh, so you might be able to find those versions and other ones in previous years. They've been, a lot of them have been upgraded uh, to other versions. So let's talk about the uh, 2.0 version, which is found in your F-150 now also is found in your Bronco Sport Outer Banks and Bronco Sport Badlands with certain packages and, is, and also is found in your Mach-E. So that 2.0 version takes everything we've talked about as part of the Assist Plus package, adaptive cruise with stop and go, lane centering, uh, the speed sign recognition also comes with the evasive steering assist and the nav and then also uh, it goes one step further now you have intersection assist new technology for this year intersection assist uh, just allows you if you are turning across the traffic so if you're turning left across an intersection it's looking for that and if they see a vehicle coming it's going to hit your brakes allow you to brake so that way you don't have that accident that happens so really uh, hopefully this uh, avoids a lot of accidents Accidents. Again, you can find this in the F-150 Lariat and above as optional equipment. You can find it in the Mach-E. I, I think this package uh, is available on your, uh, maybe not your Mach-E Select, but it's available on your Mach-E on certain trim levels. Uh, and then you're also finding it as optional equipment on the Outer Banks Bronco Sport and your Badlands Bronco Sport Edition. So uh, some, a great package here uh, and includes some great safety features. So Copilot 360 as, Assist. Assist Plus and the 2.0. But let's talk about autonomous driving for a second. So now on the F-150 as well as in the Mach-E, you can get the uh, Copilot 360 Active 2.0. Uh, so the 2.0 version, what are you going to get with that? For one, you're going to get an Active Park Assist 2.0. And I think I actually talked about that in a Tech Tuesday a couple weeks ago. So you can check that video on how that works. Uh, it is going to include that, but also it's going to include the hardware for autonomous driving, what they're calling Blue Cruise now for Ford. So they've uh, coined a phrase for that, and that's called the Blue Cruise. Uh, so that it gives you the hardware. What that means is all you need to do is get that software update. We're talking Ford's talking third quarter, so hopefully April or August, September, we're going to start seeing the software update, over the air update on those F 150s and the Mach E's to be able to, once it gets a software update, it has the hardware in place, so then you can have an autonomous driving experience. It's beautiful. So, what hardware uh, would you notice if your vehicle had it? Uh, you should see on both sides, you should see a little sensor on both sides of the steering wheel, somewhere on the vehicle, uh, and it will that'll allow you to know that you have the autonomous driving included in this. So on this uh, F-150, you see it right over here, as well as you see it over here on the pillar, and that's how you know you have the autonomous driving hardware already coined in, because it wants to be able to see you, physically see your eyes, and that you are paying attention, and that you're not sleeping or anything like that. Uh, so it needs those sensors, it sees that, you're that you're, you can see your eyes, and that it assists you, and allow you to do autonomous driving, take your hands off the steering wheel while you're having the cruise so it's called the blue cruise so uh th there you go there's a, a great package that they've added to the copilot 360 suite of features there so hopefully now you've kind of learned a little bit more about that copilot 360 assist again it's found in some of the upper models uh four different uh, vehicles and uh, that assist 2.0 even includes the intersection assist some great features there uh, so i definitely check that out now keep coming back for these tech tuesdays so every tuesday we'll cover different technologies safety features convenience features and also uh, some kind of more of how-to videos on our different technology on the ford vehicles uh, there's so much involved sometimes when you take delivery of these vehicles uh, you know it could take an hour to two hours to go over some of the technologies and the different features and those different uh, uh, features and the screens and the center stacks and the different sync technologies uh, so in tech tuesday i thought we can cover some of these things for you as a Ford owners so hopefully come back and see what we have for each week when we talk about Tech Tuesday now also be looking for some videos that we have we actually had a video go live this morning on the Maverick the XL trim so our complete guide on that what's standard on the XL since it's really hard to find some of that information on Ford's website right now and then tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. we're gonna also have go live the XLT uh, trim and then the next morning it's gonna be the Lariat trim so we're gonna get through all three of these so if you're in, into one 
want more information about the Maverick, be looking for those videos as well as some, we have some other great videos, some custom built videos that are in the works as well that you will definitely want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you did like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Leave your comments down below. Love getting the feedback. I do want to know what information, if you're wanting to learn how to do something, drop it down in the comments so that I can uh, have that as a Tech Tuesday video and we can learn together. Uh, so if there's some questions that you have on how to do something with your Ford vehicle, drop them down in the comments and we'll do a video on it for Tech Tuesday. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to find us on social media. We're at Wal MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next week, we'll see you later.